Hello, and welcome to the 127th Wing Report, July 2011. Our top story this month is a change at the top for the wing itself. In June, Brigadier General Michael L. Poplinski retired after more than 32 years of service to the Air Force. Colonel Michael T. Thomas assumed command of the 127th Wing. Staff Sergeant Rachel Barton was at the change of command ceremony, and she has the story. Selfridge Air National Guard Base has a new commander. On June 4th, the 127th Wing held a ceremony to transfer command of the wing from Brigadier General Michael Poplinski to Colonel Michael Thomas. Colonel Thomas began his career in the Air Force Reserve here at Selfridge. He has recently served as commander of the 127th Air Refueling Group and has most recently filled the role of Vice Wing Commander. As Colonel Thomas addressed the wing for the first time as commander, one of the subjects he spoke about was opportunity for the wing and for the base. Our 127th wing is built on a solid foundation. Our recent successes have positioned us well for the future. All this change has led to opportunity. Opportunity facilitates an environment for success. Success breeds success, and we've capitalized on it. Immediately following the change of command, Brigadier General Michael Poplinski was retired from his 32-year military career and more than five years as 127th Wing Commander. During his speech, he remarked on the changes and challenges the wing has faced in recent years. I do not believe there is another wing in the United States Air Force that has endured the change and challenges that you have over the past five years. You have met each test with resolve. You carried the burden of multiple and simultaneous aircraft and mission changes, deployed to the fight while you were still in conversion, and moreover stood up to the highest priority mission with nominal resources and in minimal time. Continue that record of excellence as you go forward. For the 127th Wing, I'm Staff Sergeant Rachel Barton. Also in recent months, three other units have formally welcomed new commanders. Lieutenant Colonel David Spihar took command of the 127th Maintenance Squadron, Lieutenant Colonel Stanley Krasovic took command of the 171st Air Refueling Squadron, and Lieutenant Colonel David Brooks took command of the 127th Air Refueling Group. At the wing level, Lieutenant Colonel Philip Sheridan has assumed the duties of the Vice Wing Commander. An airman attached to the life support section of the 107th Fighter Squadron has been honored for her duties in Iraq. Tech Sergeant Supa Lawson was awarded the Bronze Star Medal for her services during a nearly two-year deployment. In May, 127th Security Forces personnel partnered with several local law enforcement agencies to conduct an active shooter exercise on the base. The exercise stressed the importance of teamwork and provided an opportunity for all base personnel to follow procedures in case of such an incident. The U.S. Army's Robotic Systems Joint Project Office, which is located here on Selfridge, hosted its third annual robot trot in June. The 5K race was completed by about 100 runners. Several more people ran on a 10-mile race that served as a qualifier for the Army's 10-miler, which will be held in the fall in Washington, D.C. And that's our update for this month. For more information on what's happening around the wing, be sure to check out our public website at www.127wg.ang.af.mil. You can also friend us on Facebook. Until next time, I'm Tech Sergeant Dan Heaton, reminding you to aim high.